Hey guys, have you ever wondered what engine mount you're gonna to need to use on your go-kart? Well, today I'm gonna to explain the differences and which one you should be choosing. Hey guys, welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video, we're gonna be stepping you through the different types of engine mounts you can choose for your racing engine to get your engine in the right position. So let's get into it. First up, we're gonna start over here with the Tony Kart Magnesium. Okay guys, this is the Tony Kart Magnesium flat engine mount style. The beauty of this is that you can offset the holes and get the engine all the way out on the chassis. And also too, you can set the engine flat, which rocks it back on the, on the frame ever so slightly. So if you're having problems with your driver knocking his elbow on the engine when he's going around the corners, I know I've done that and it hurts. Um, get yourself a flat engine mount because you can get the engine a little bit away from the driver. So especially important if you've got the big KA100 engine and you've got a trouble hitting your elbow on the, on the top of the motor and bruising your elbow quite badly, go with a flat engine mount. And what we've got here is the traditional angle style engine mount. So these angled style engine mounts are excellent for when you need to rock the engine forward so you get clearance for the exhaust from the bearing cassettes. So it's especially important on the Rotax engine. I wouldn't recommend using the flat style engine mount with a Rotax engine because the exhaust is gonna have a bit of a kink in it to try to miss the bearing hangers. So that's when we're gonna go with the angled engine mount to keep the exhaust on a nice angle to stop it from hitting the chassis. So the last type of engine mount we're gonna talk about today is the Kartec slide engine mount. This system's awesome because it comes as a complete unit with the clamps and everything. And you can see here, we've got the two center bolts. So if we loosen them off, the top plate can actually slide. So you clamp this part to your chassis, which is the bottom part. And then these top plates that you can buy individually, whether angled like this one or the flat one that's on here, and then it can slide forward and backwards so you can get the ultimate chain tension. So like I mentioned, the Kartec slide system comes either in flat or angled. You can just change your top plate. And then you can buy one complete system. Then multiple top plates if you've got multiple engines and they are all interchangeable, and that's the beauty of that. Now this system does feature in our Arrow X 6.1 video, so if you wanna check that out, you can click that link in the description below. So like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna go with the angled engine mount when you're having problems with the exhaust hitting on the chassis, uh, that being the road tax engine, and also too, sometimes I like to use this uh, wedge style when I'm mounting up X30 so that the starter motor doesn't foul on the chain tensioner. That's also sometimes been a problem for us. But a lot of guys like the flat engine mount, especially on the OK engines. So you can use those and obviously KZ engine has a flat one and it's pretty unique to the engine as well, which we're not showing here today. Don't forget if you're having problems with your elbow bashing into the engine as you're driving around the track, go with a flat engine mount if you can. And the DPE Kartec product is excellent. I highly recommend that as well. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video.